Welcome to the Impactors Podcast. I'm Corey Carter. And I'm Ron Cool. And we are the owners and founders of Hindsight Hacking Media Agency, Podcasts, Funnels, Graphics, and more. Head on over to GetHHN.com to learn more. Guys, we created this podcast to help you go create an impact today. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, today. We're taking all the fluff, all the BS out, so you can go create an impact. And today's topic is visibility and who do you serve? That's right, Ron. The famous question, who do you serve? Now, if it's not a famous question to you, if you're listening to this, that means you probably don't know who do you serve. So, so Ron, I'm going to ask you, how does one figure out exactly who they serve? Oh my gosh, dude. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to be real for a second. It is it is sometimes a difficult process to get your brain to understand you are looking for one person or two people, right? And be like uber specific on those two people and everything about them, right? Their age range, uh, if it's male or female, uh, if they like to go hiking or not hiking, like get to know everything about that person. Because then as you really focus on that person, let's say you're going to hit it, Sometimes you're gonna like start attracting people right around that core group of people you're trying to really focus in on, right? Right. And that's okay, right? But it's gonna be super dialed into the exact who you are trying to reach. Yes. So oftentimes somebody does an ad of some kind. Facebook, we'll, I'll use that as an example for this. There's an ad and it says, date range, uh, age range, right? 35 to 55. Right. That is not the specific who we're talking about. No, we want, you want, as somebody trying to find who you're targeting, you want to know their name, right? Mm -hmm. Like my number one female client, his name, her name is Janet and her age is 40, not 35 to 55, right? Like, you know, get, that's that specific specificity that you were talking about, Ron, that I think is so important. Like get so focused on what that exact person looks like uh, that it, it's just not a question. And when the wrong people come to you, again, you, you'll you know, like, what is my messaging not talking to Janet or whoever your who is? Uh, because I, I know for you and I, Ron, like, I love our example of we didn't have this nailed down. Right. But now we know there's three or there's one specific clientele that we will not necessarily serve because of having the wrong people being attracted to our stuff. Yeah. yeah, we were definitely attracting the wrong people. And guess what? We were able to adjust that after we realized where some of the problem was and why we were becoming so visible to this type of client or yeah, this type of clientele. Right. And so we had to just change some of the wording. And when was the last time we got approached by that type of person? The moment we changed the wording just together, right? Not even put it out in the world. We put it to each other. Right. That person is not a client we'll ever serve again. Done. They have right. never returned. No. There's never been another client like that. And so <laughs> You're right. it's amazing. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And so in line with the show, knowing like number one, they need to know who they serve. They need to get deeper than the top level age range of 35 to 55 or whatever. Like they need to know all those details. Uh, we have some ways to help people identify that. But if, if somebody was to just turn the show off right this second, how could they, what steps could they take to go uh, work on who they serve? Get a piece of paper, like write it down write it down, right? If you don't work with a partner, um, I, you, you're more than welcome to contact Corey and I. We can help you through this process, like you said. But here's a couple things to figure out. What's the age, right? And if you already have a base of clientele, I would also recommend looking at all your current clients and figuring out approximately where they are. Then looking and saying, okay, these are the people I really enjoy working with that are my current clients, what's the difference between the two? 
And that's how Impactors is, was born. Yes. hundred percent, right? Like we had our base list of clients and we went through everyone that we, uh, it, all the qualities of, of people that we truly enjoyed working with, right? In every aspect of it. And then it, it literally was boiled down to if they didn't have an impact mission, then we, there was something about them that we didn't necessarily just love. Right. Right. right? And so it, it truly helped us to with making sure we were working with all the right people. So action step for anybody, literally look at who you serve. If you already have clients, you go through, what are the things you like about them? Right. Well, how much money they make, what, what's their business? Uh, what do they do for fun? Like drill down all this stuff. If you don't have a business partner to bounce ideas off of, definitely. I mean, Ron mentioned that. I mean, we'll put our, our in the show notes. You get 30 minutes, like book a call with both Ron and I for 30 minutes. We can talk about your who. No problem. No worries. No cost. But that, you know, more so it, it's, I think, bouncing that idea off of others. Again, yeah. whether it be with Ron and I or someone else, I think that's how you can really fine tune the details is having somebody to have that conversation with. Yeah. And, and it makes all the difference in the world. I mean, we've, we've helped multiple people in group settings, one-on-one -on -one settings really just nail this down. And we, we felt we were able to do that because two things, one, we struggled with this. Like I remember sitting at, at a, at a bagel shop, right. And we were trying to nail this down what four or five years ago. And I was just like, why would we go that deep? I don't understand, you know? And the person that was helping us was like, what's the person's name? I was like, I don't freaking know, right? <laughs> like, it was <laughs> like, I don't really oh, care either. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, that isn't, but I didn't understand. Once we got hyper focused on who we wanted to help serve, everything changed. Everything changed. It's so counterintuitive. Like, understand who you want to help, put it on the world, right? Take inventory. So here's, here's some steps. Take inventory of your current clients if you have it. Understand who they are, all of them. Then figure out who you love working with that you have no problems with and start to form your talking points to attract that person, okay? So that, that's one. Now, if you don't have clients, right? So you're listening to the show, you're brand new. And you haven't figured out your who yet. And you don't have someone to do that inventory with, right? Understand what problems you're trying to solve for people in general that you want to make an impact. And you'll start to find out you're probably helping people like yourself like six months ago. So start looking back and go, what did I need to see? six months ago to help me along my journey to achieve something faster. And, and you know what? That's how you can become visible to your past self. Yeah, 100%. So you got to know your problem. But mm -hmm. hands down, everyone out there, know who you're serving. And I promise you, the bigger, the more thorough you are with this question, with your answers, the, the quicker you will be to finding success in what you're what problem you're solving for that person. So, uh, all right. I think that's it for today, Ron. That is it. No BS, no fluff. No BS, no fluff. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, know who you serve. Go make an impact. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. If you want to learn more, head on over to impactorsmastermind.com. We have a special group waiting just for you. Guys, why are you still listening to this? Get off your phone. Go create an impact today.